What's up, family and friends? Uh, it's five minutes to 12 a.m. here, so we're still in the Saturday night. So it's good night to you all, wherever you are. Some of you are already in the morning, some of you in the afternoon or evening. So wherever you are, greetings from me to you, and I welcome you to this live broadcast. I want to share this uh, and this like the continuation of what I shared when I was going to work. So now I'm home. I want to share this, continuing from what I titled, uh, they are corrupt. But this one I titled it Christians versus Muslims. They are corrupt. I also, you know, touched on area of politicians uh, on the other one. But this one, I'm talking about Christians and the Muslims, how they attack themselves. Especially Christians who always uh, quote Psalm chapter 14 verse 1 or Psalm 53 verse 1 to people like me, calling us fool for saying that there is no God. But there's, there's, such thing is not in the Bible. Bible did not say the fool say there is no God. This is what the Bible says. It said the fool has said in his heart. The fool, one person, in his heart. He never said the fools said in their heart. He was talking about a person. He said the fool has said in his heart. And if you read what is said to the chief musician, a psalm of David. David was the one that saying what was in his heart. In his heart. He knew there is no God. But he was a fool to say it in his heart. He cannot say it with his mouth. Why? Because he's among the people of God, people that believe in God. So he don't want them to stone him to death, although David never existed. But it's a story they put in the Bible. The, David said that the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Then if you read, remember, he, he, put, he, put, he put full stop before it continued. He said, they are corrupt. So you're supposed to ask yourself, who are the they that are corrupt? And that's where I came in with what I'm saying. Politicians are corrupt. That I've done with that. But the 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 the, the are corrupt. They are corrupt. He said they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none who does good. These are people who believe in God. They are the ones doing abominable things all over the world. They are the ones hating themselves. They are the ones dividing each other. They are the ones killing each other. And all of them believe in God. You see a Muslim telling me there is God. A Christian telling me there is God. Yet yeah, this Christian and this Muslim hate each other. They divide each other and they kill each other. Where is the God they believe in? And Christians say that most, uh, Allah is not a true God, it's not God, it's demon or that. Christians, I mean, Muslims believe the God of Abraham is their God, Yahweh is their God, Muslims believe in that. Muslims don't, don't believe that Jesus Christ was crucified, they, although they believe in Jesus. Muslims are true than Christians. Muslims agree with Christians, but Christians, due to what Jesus said in the Bible, they hate Muslims and they defy themselves. That's why Muslims are fighting against them and Christians fighting against Muslims. If you don't know the history of Islam and Christianity, just spend some time and do your own research and see how Christians have been killing Muslims and Muslims killing Christians. And these two people that believe in God join hands to kill atheists. People they call atheists, people they call heretics, people they call unbelievers, people they call infidels, they kill them. Some of you don't know about that issue. The reason why it seems like the taste, people that believe in God are in greater number than, than the people that don't believe in God is because of bloodshed. Christianity, Islam have unholy foundation. Christianity, Islam have a, a, a dishonest uh, uh, foundation. They have corrupt foundation. They are corrupt. It doesn't matter how nice the person that is a priest now in, in, in Christianity or a pastor in Christianity or a man or a Muslim, no matter how, how good they may appear, their foundation makes them impure. Their foundation makes them corrupt because they are built on the, upon that corrupt foundation. They are corrupt. Their good is evil. No matter how good works they are doing in the world, they are corrupt. 
But this is, I shared this earlier, and I want to show us this because I hate this. It's uh, from Pakistan. He said that Muslims burned church while Christians were trapped inside. And the hundreds of Muslims celebrating. You believe there is God and you are a Muslim. You believe there is God and you are a Christian. Why are you hating each other? Why are you dividing each other? Why are you killing each other? Yet when somebody come innocently and tell you this God you believe in is just an abstract concept, abstract idea. It does not really, it's not a tangible being that whether you call it spirit being or natural being, it does not exist. That God does not exist. You say, what are you saying? You haven't seen that God. You don't know that God. I used to be like you. I used to believe there is God. I used to worship God. And I haven't seen that God or Jesus. But I was convinced. And I begin to see in the dream what I call God. I begin to see in the dream what I call Jesus. I begin to hear voices. It is called delusion and hallucination. Begin to hear voices in my head and seeing visions in my head. And I, 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 was, I, I used to stand against anyone that tell me that, that God doesn't exist or hellfire doesn't exist. But think about it. Why are those who believe in God, they are the ones doing abominable works all over the world? Muslims born to church. Why Christians were trapped inside? These people are the same people from the same country, from the same town with them. Just because of faith in imaginary God, faith in invisible God, they have not seen and they cannot see. They born to death their fellow human being because they are Christians. And the Christians who run their mouth, their God is almighty. Their God can do all things. In Jesus' name, Jesus said, whatever you ask me in the name of, of, of the Father, you ask the Father in my name, he will do it. You have been praying. They, they weren't preaching the gospel. Then they catch them and kill them. These people who are inside the church worshiping or praying, whatever they were doing there, there is no reason for anyone to kill them. There is no reason for anyone to burn them, especially when you are doing it in the name of God. All the major atrocities in the whole world has been carried out in the name of God. A God you have not seen. Taste against taste. Maybe it's nemesis that, are, that is catching up with the taste. The joy has before to, to kill a taste. To kill innocent people for not believing the bullshit they believe. They kill people because they say the body and blood of Jesus Christ is not what they preach. They kill them. They kill innocent people because they say no, they don't believe in immaculate conception. They kill them. They kill people because they say they are not accepting Jesus. They kill them. They keep people because they say Muhammad never existed. They keep people because of Allah. And after they will turn around and begin to talk about mercy. May God have mercy on you. Fuck that God. Where was the God of Christianity when these Muslims burned church? Why Christians were trapped inside? They have been killing in the name of this God. Christians versus Muslims. Do, do you want me to talk about what is going on in Nigeria? It's still going on till date. Although you see them sitting around the table and begin to claim one Nigeria, begin to claim, you know, they are praying. Things are going on fine, but it's not. Anything that makes you to burn down a church why people are trapped inside is evil, is corrupt. Muslims are corrupt. Christians are corrupt. I, some Christians will say, okay, Christians don't kill. Tell me, is there any way Christians, Christians are killing? And their own killing is even worse. When they are praying for everything to happen to you, it's the same thing with using magic to cut somebody's head. It's the same thing with burning somebody inside the church.
When you say, if I don't receive Jesus Christ, I will be, born, I'll be thrown into hell fire. You say, I'm going to hell. What is the difference? But if you know the history of Christianity, you know that whatever Muslims are doing today is just a tip of, uh, of the iceberg to what Christians has done in history. Islam will claim their God is unique. If you don't believe it, they kill you. Allah Akubaru, all that. You tear Quran, you burn Quran. They kill you. And you see many Christians scared of Muslims. I see some of them come challenging me. They said, speak against Muslim or against Islam the way you are speaking against Christianity. I say, I was not an ex-Muslim. I don't know Quran. I know Bible at the back of my hands. I can quote it from morning to night. I can back anything, good or bad, with the Bible. I can find anything in the Bible and show you this is what the Bible says. Even if you just wake me up. I don't know Quran. I don't know much about Islam. Although I used to live in the same house or do business with Muslims. But when it comes to their religion, I don't know. I speak what I know. I cannot quote what I don't know. I cannot quote Quran. I cannot. I can quote the Bible. I don't need anyone to teach me that because I have that knowledge already in me. I don't need to go to any Bible school, theological school, or any type of Bible study to know what the Bible says. It's already registered in me. I beat Bible into me. It's right in my head, and I can quote it. I am not against Christians. I am against Christianity because Christianity is against me. It's against my loved ones. I am against Jesus. I am not against Jesus' followers. I am not against anyone that is following Jesus Christ. I'm not against anyone that is following Muhammad. But I'm against Islam. I am against Christianity because they are destroying my people. Africans are killing each other in the name of Christianity and Islam. Some say they are Muslims, some say they are Christians, and begin, they begin to hate each other. They begin to divide each other. They begin to kill each other. Africans, we are not Christians. We are not Muslims. They put those two evil institutions among us to divide us to, and to make us killing ourselves. No matter how good you may think Islam is to you, it is never for your own good. No matter how good you think Christianity is to you, it's never for your own good. If you know their root, if you know their purpose, if you know why they were established, you will run away from them. It is time you wake up, Africa. Stop hating yourself. Stop dividing yourselves. Stop killing yourselves in the name of Allah, in the name of Jehovah, in the name of Yahweh, in the name of Jesus. It is time you wake up to know you are original people. The original people have no religion. Original people who are not Christians or Muslims. Christians and the, uh, Christ, Christianity and Islam we are copied from you. They are imitation. So why are you allowing imitation to keep you in hating each other, dividing each other, and killing each other? It is time you wake up, Africans. No condition is permanent. Yes, it's true they beat Jesus into us with Quran and the, and the Bible. But now we know better. We have the power to trash Jesus. Yes, I am still preaching Jesus. I preached Jesus yesterday, I'm preaching Jesus today, and I will preach Jesus tomorrow. In truth, in all honesty, without corruption, I'm not asking you to join me. I'm not asking you to contribute to what I'm doing. No. I am still a young man. I'm strong enough to work for my money, to feed myself. But save yourself. Set yourself free. And save all those money you are wasting in the name of Allah, in the name of God or Jehovah. Even your life, you are wasting your life being a Christian. You are wasting your life being a Muslim, fighting against each other. Can you live in the same house with a Muslim in a place like Nigeria? 
you know that that Muslim may be good to you, but one day is coming. They will turn, turn against you and you begin to run for your dear life. Why are you running for your life in your own land, Africans? Wake up. All these Christians versus Muslims is not good. It's not doing us any good. That's why even in politics, our people, we are divided. I want Christian, the Christian man to be president. This one say, I want Muslim man to be president. And when that Muslim man is president or Christian man is president, the Christians will be supporting their man, the Muslims will be supporting their man, and yet these people believe in God. Tell me what belief in God has done for you. Tell me one good thing your belief in God has done for you. But that belief in God has brought hate, hatred, division, and the killing among us. It is time you wake up. If you believe in God and your God is all-powerful, then why are you killing each other? And when these people set that church on fire, where was God? God was not found. Maybe they, all of them died or some escaped. Those that escaped will be thanking God and bury those who did not escape. And all of them are worshipping God. I share it. He said, who, 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 will, who will harm you if you are eager to do good? I said, God. God will harm you. You say it's not true. God will harm Job in the Bible. Job was a righteous man. He is too evil. He was blameless. And God sent Satan to harm Job. Job's children, all of them died. And some of you believe the nonsense. You say, after that, God restored Job and gave him more than 10. That's nonsense. It doesn't make sense. You keep somebody's children and give him another children. How about those ones you kill? Their life is not important. And the same people that believe in that story of Job will be against abortion. It is time you wake up, Africans. Yes, that's why people like me, I used to be a Christian. I used to be a minister of the gospel. I'm, I was not joking. I mean business. You cannot hear me and not give your life to Jesus. Even pastors will come out a call if I make out a call because I speak from the heart. I was not into the ministry because of money, because of fame, no. Just the same way I am doing what I'm doing right now, because from the foundation of my life, I stand with the truth, factual truth. I don't respect people by their rank. I don't respect people by their wealth, no. I respect people just they are people because they are people. They are like me. I treat people the way I treat myself. And the one thing I will not do is to force you to accept me. If you don't accept me, no problem. Go your way. But the, the, the level I operate now, you come against me, I come against you. If you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, I don't care about that. What I care about is you are African. Then if you're not African, you're a Christian or a Muslim, I don't care about that. All I care, you are a human being. I'm asking you, stop the hate. Stop the division. Stop the killing. We have the power to do this. You, yes, you and I, we have the power to end religion. It is end time for religion. It is end time for ignorance. It is end time for fear. If you can kill that fear, if you can kill that ignorance, you will kill that religion. And you will see how peaceful your life will be. You begin to see people the way they are. You begin to relate with people. You begin to you begin to socialize with people and see that life is good. Life is sweet. Life is easy. Life is fair. Life is beautiful. And let us live as people, not as godly people, as natural people, as people born to live, explore, and enjoy life. You can do it. I can do it. It starts with you. It starts with me. When you love yourself, you will love others. But when you don't love yourself and love imaginary being, that's when you can kill your fellow human being. And you don't even, even feel remorse. You, you feel you'll be rewarded in heaven or in paradise. Fuck that God. Fuck that Allah. Fuck that Jehovah. Fuck that Yahweh. Fuck that Jesus. Fuck that paradise. 
fuck that heaven. This is my heaven. This is my paradise. And I am God. If you're a woman, you are a goddess. If you're a man, you are God. Live your life and enjoy your life. Life is good. Let no one make you feel bad about it. Peace.